Have you ever thought of living life on the road? Living the free life, seeing a variety of amazing scenic areas and experiencing different parts of your country? Well, if this is one of your life goals, there's a good chance that you'll look at a Class A motorhome to use for this purpose. So why would you consider a Class A motorhome and why not? Hi, this is Bruce from Homes and Life, here again with a continuation of our Homes on Wheels series. As we look at different options for enjoyable RV use, this will be the last in the series of motorhomes. Coming soon will be videos on towable recreational vehicles. To make sure that you don't miss these and other upcoming videos, click the subscribe and bell buttons down below there. Thank you. Some may wonder what a Class A motorhome is, and I'm going to go into that in detail in a minute. First, remember that a Class B motorhome is a van conversion or a camper van, while the Class C motorhome uses a van or a truck cabin chassis. Class A motorhomes, or coaches as some people call them, are built differently. They are the motorhome that looks like a bus. Like a house, the foundation of a structure is very important. So the foundation of a Class A motorhome is very important. This foundation is called the chassis. Basically, this is the frame rails with the axles and the drivetrain. Most often what you'll see is a, a gas-powered motorhome will have the engine up front, while the majority of diesel motorhomes will have the engine in the rear. And this is where the name diesel pusher came from. These chassis may come from Freightliner, Spartan, or from Ford, who manufactures a chassis for medium and small sized Class A motorhomes. These chassis are built and then shipped to the various motorhome manufacturers. When the RV manufacturer receives the chassis, they go to work in their own factory on that chassis, building a variety of sizes and floor plans to put on it with different options and actually different qualities too. One thing you'll notice with Class A motorhomes is they usually have a fiberglass front and rear cap. And the front cap will normally have quite a large windshield in it. People thinking of buying a Class A motorhome will check out a number of units and they'll make a purchase based on the quality of the unit, the layout and the price, kind of a balance there. So why would someone want a Class A motorhome and why might they not want a Class A motorhome? First, let's look at the whys. As I mentioned, a Class A motorhome has a huge amount of storage. Some of the storage bays go right from side to side and they have slide out trays and there's tons of storage in there. I don't think you can have too much storage really. Also, they're comfortable to drive. You're sitting up there, you've got a large windshield, it's panoramic and there's large side windows. And this large view allows the driver to see further ahead and gauge the traffic conditions. Also the seats, because size is not as much of a restriction, the seats are usually a little bit larger and they're quite comfortable. The larger units allow more interior space, making them very livable for extended trips. And when you do pull up into a site, the setup is fairly quick in most Class A motorhomes because they have a self-leveling system you just push the button and it levels itself although the larger class a motorhomes are the size of a bus the newer units are relatively maneuverable as the chassis manufacturers make the front wheels turn sharply and the tag axle that's the very rear axle when there's two axles back there may turn as well and it gives the unit the ability to turn in a shorter radius than you might expect. Also, if maintained well, a Class A motorhome, especially diesel models, 
shouldn't depreciate as quickly as some other motorhomes. And then there's the why not for owning a Class A motorhome. Probably top of the list, for me anyway, is poor fuel economy. When you're traveling down the road, you've got this big wall as the nose of your vehicle and it's pushing against the air as you're traveling. Class A motorhomes are not at all aerodynamic, so you're gonna pay the price in fuel economy. You will need to have a tow vehicle or some other mode of transportation with you as these motorhomes are not the easiest to fit into parking lots. That may be a bit of an understatement, but if you're doing day trips and there's a parking lot there, you're probably best with a smaller vehicle. Safety, this is a big one. There's an old saying amongst some drivers that says, if you're driving a cab forward vehicle, you get to be the first at the scene of the accident. That means if you have the misfortune of having an accident that has a frontal impact, there's not much protection there for you. The motorhomes do have seat belts, but Class A motorhomes are not required to have airbags. Being that the Class A motorhomes are built on a commercial style chassis, the tires, the brakes and engine maintenance and repairs do tend to be pricier. Tires and brakes are larger and the engines just are more costly to maintain. The large front windshield, while being great for visibility, is usually expensive to replace and not readily available to change when you get rock chips and cracks. Drivers must always be aware that they're driving a heavier vehicle must keep in mind that heavier vehicles require a greater stopping distance. Larger Class A units, usually the diesel pushers, will have air brakes and this requires a special air brake endorsement on your driver's license. And in addition, some states or provinces may require a special license to drive your RV. Often that depends on the weight of the unit. That's something you need to do research into for your area. So that's a lot to consider, isn't it? As I mentioned before, there's no perfect answer for everyone. It's up to the buyer or buyers to decide what their priorities are and make their decisions from there. And as in real estate, I would recommend checking out a number of units before making a decision on what's best for you. And maybe even consider renting a Class A motorhome for a trip to see how you like that. I trust you found this video to be informative and if so remember to click the subscribe and bell buttons down below. Remember life is an adventure. I'll talk to you again soon.